Um, yes. Hello, Madam Mayo. Um, you, you, you are live on AYV television right now. Um, of course, I'm sure you've been following the, the, the show. And um, Dr. Sibriola and Kabladen feels um, like um, you should have um, made yourself available for testing, but you did not. So according to her, you're putting um, the, the people of this country or the city at risk. What's your comment? Um, thank you very much. Thank you for the call. Yes, I, I happen to just come in um, just as this was coming onto the television. I was out. We were doing, I was uh, at 98.1 um, on the IRN show, been at market, been at EOC, been working all day. Um, and my comment is as follows. Um, I was invited as a water hero by Water Aid um, to take part in a water summit at which both the Prince of Wales and the Prince of Monaco were present. This event was on the 10th of March, which was a Tuesday. I left for Freetown on Sunday, the 15th of March. So I saw the, the princes on the 10th of March. I left for Freetown on the 15th of March. At the time I was returning to Freetown, the government policy had not yet come into place. But because of a sense of responsibility and understanding how important it is to make sure that even if a policy is going to come in six hours later, if you know why it's being done, you do the right thing. So when I arrived on Sunday, I informed my staff, my colleagues, my family, and also the Ministry of Health that I was choosing to self-isolate. And that was on the 15th. I stayed in isolation for 14 days. I left my home for the first time on the 30th. By that time, the, by the time I was leaving my home, I had not been in contact with the princess for 20 days. Do you understand? So I left when I met the prince 14 days after. If I was exposed and I was going to get coronavirus, it would have taken 14 days. 14 plus 10 is 24. I stayed at home. I was still at home on the 24th. I did not leave my house until the 30th. And when I was leaving my house, I spoke with the CMO. I spoke with the head of the EOC, who I have been in contact with regularly. And they said, Mayor, well done. We're really pleased. You feel fine. Well, how do you feel? I explained to them. They said, excellent. No point in time at that point because I, I believe the government policy changed later. At no point in time was there any question of, Mayor, you need to take a test. If there had been, I would have. But at 14 days, the people that um, subsequently tested positive, I had not been in their presence for 20 days. So I was well past the 14 days. So I really hope that's helpful. Um, people understand. Um, so I'm very confident that I'm not walking around. I mean, it's been 27 days now at this point. Um, since I was with the princess, um, I've not coughed. I'm not, I mean, I'm not coughing. I'm not sneezing. I don't have shortness of breath. I don't have a temperature. I don't have a headache. I don't have any symptoms. And because I didn't have any symptoms, when I chose to self-isolate and at the end of those 14 days, which were 20 days after I had seen the princes. Um, nobody felt there was any need at that time when the government only had about 350 tests at that time. The additional tests that came from Jack Ma came later on. Um, nobody felt it was appropriate to come and just do a random test on the mayor. Had anybody asked me to test, I would have tested. All right. But from that day to now, no one has ever asked me to test, and I'm talking about the medical professional, the epidemiologist, with the experience and the training who are working at the EOC. Okay. Thank you. Ma Ma Madam Mayor, just quickly before letting us go, I know you are very busy right now. You're driving, trying to ensure that the city is safe. But um, now that this has come up, um, is it safe to say, okay, the mayor, well, just for the purpose of clarity and ensure and give confidence to um, the Fritonians, would the mayor um, um, make, make herself available for uh, testing? Um, Samuel, I think you have to... You don't do testing because of social media pressure. Mm. You do testing based on medical facts. 
right? I mean, these tests are important tests. We need them in the country. And so you need to think about it. Some of today is the, what is it? It's the 7th of April. I was with the Prince of Wales and the Prince of Monaco on the 10th of March, almost a month ago. Who are we trying to satisfy? You know, I mean, the medical protocols are there. Um, it's very clear that you, 14 days after exposure, if you're going to have symptoms, that's when you'll have symptoms. I didn't leave my house until 20 days after. So um, I don't think we, you test because of social pressure or mm. social media pressure. No, I think it's, it's got to be based on medical reasons. All right. Thank you very much for the clarification, Madam Mayor. It's been a pleasure. You're most welcome. Thank you for calling me. All right. And um, that's it. That's, um, remember, this is your home of all things, credible, factual, and all times balance. We're trying to ensure that we get every side um, to a story. And, of course, you've um, had the clarification made by the mayor of the Freetown Municipality, um, Yvonne Akisoya, um, following the comments made by um, Dr. Sylvia Olainka Blyden earlier on in the show. And, of course, we've been with you for um, about two hours now. And this is where we would have to see a wife is not saying goodbye, but we are going to pause for a while and definitely coming up at six um the coronavirus um program um, updates continues in, with our clear news my name um, is summer wise bangura and um, until next time take care of yourself Watching AYV Television.